Hello, welcome to Dun Girls Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today, we're reviewing the 2003 horror slasher film, A House of a Thousand Corpses, which is an hour and 29 minutes, directed and written by Rob Zombie, with music by Rob Zombie, starring Sid Haig as Captain Spaulding, Sherry Moon Zombie as Baby, Bill Mosley as Otis B. Driftwood, Karen Black as Mother F- Firefly, Matthew McRory as uh, Tiny, who we reviewed his last horror movie that he ever did, uh, The Evil Within, so make sure to check that out. It's not the video game, it's like a movie made by a crackhead. <laughs> you have Chris Hardwick, yes, that Chris Hardwick as Jerry Goldsmith. Was he, was this character supposed to be Jewish? I didn't even notice. Rain Wilson as Bill Hudley, Aaron Daniels as Denise Willis, Jennifer Johnson as Mary Knowles, Dennis Prempel as Grandpa Hugo. Holy crap, I thought that was M. Emmett Walsh or something. Yeah, I guess I was totally wrong. Also, uh, Walton Goggins is in the movie, but not, not for too long. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I, I gotta say, I'm. I'm I had a huge, I have huge nostalgia for this film. We would, back in the day when we were kids, we would talk about Rob Zombie films like, you know, boomers talk about John Carpenter films, even though, like, Rob Zombie was a new, the hit new thing, right? And I gotta say, I love Rob Zombie's films, man. Like, stylistically, they're great, especially the early stuff. Like, this film, I love... This film is a mix between Quentin Tarantino, Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets fucking Silent Hill, dude. Do I need to say more? So, like, the, the movie, um, like, it starts off where, like, you see a robbery go bad at this, uh, guy, uh, Captain Spaulding. Uh, Spaulding's, like, uh, horror museum slash, like, uh, gas station fried chicken place where like you it's just him and his one guy talk his one customer talking and these like two two uh, assholes come in with gu- with uh, guns and they totally uh, they totally like uh, do- dox the one of the dudes <laughs> and they get the upper hand and they just blow their brains out so like yeah you have the horror crime thing going on and I, I really love the dialogue of this film I could just like I you know a movie has great dialogue when you can just sit and listen to characters just talk like i could like i wouldn't mind just having a movie where they, these characters just t- talked and bullshit it right so yeah the movie the, the the movie is about these uh four college kids or whatever the fuck they are uh, two couples who are going who are um who are um like uh <laughs> sorry Oh, fuck, what was that, what's that term? Uh, whatever, they're, they're, go, they're going around, uh, driving around America, uh, checking out, like, weird, uh, fuck, <laughs> I can't, I to, I'm totally brain farting, weird, like, you know, shops and shit, uh, for their, like, you know, for their book that they're, they're uh, the two nerds are writing, like, Rain Wilson and Chris Hardwick's character, who, Chris Hardwick, uh, I, I hated his character, but, like, I grow to like him, because <laughs> he's, like, very over the top, and v- comes off very try-hard, right, but, you know, it, it, it make it, it fits the spirit of the film, right, yeah, so, like, the, they go to see Captain Spaulding, who had a commercial, be- uh, on like some like horror host show which was pretty cool dr wolf Wolfila, right which i gotta say i love the commercials and in, in, in this uh movie right and they they go to captain spaulding and he has like a little like you know uh to- like a little little um oh tourist attractions that's right they're writing a book on like weird tourist attraction shit that's that, right and he has a little horror ride where it's just like them go, them riding this like you know track where a guy pushes them <laughs> from behind, and like he had he has like three like you know stages where he has like oh, 
uh, where he has like a display where he shows off like different serial killers, and he has like two real life serial killers that he talks about. Where this Albert F Fish, the Gray Man, who you you'll he, which Norm Macdonald would talk about him a lot, and like I would look it up, and that guy was fucking real. It was like this pedophile cannibal motherfucker from Canada. I think it was from Canada, or he was from New York. I can't remember. Uh, the Gray Man. He's also called the Gray Man. Next, they had um, the Ed Gein guy, right? And the third serial killer they talked about was Dr. Sane, which is a local guy who was a um, weird, like, surgeon such doctor would perform experiments on the mentally insane, trying to turn them into super fucking soldiers or some shit, but was uh, hunted down and killed and came back to life, and they never found his body, right? So, like, yeah... Chris Hardwick, uh, here's the story of Dr. Sane, and wants to go see, like, the place where, like, the guy was, like, uh, hanged and killed, right? And, like, Sid Hay, uh, Captain Spalling, which is played by Sid Hay, who's, like, you know, uh, 70s, like, horror star, draws a map. Who Sid Haig is awesome in this film, man. Awesome. Uh, super funny, right? Uh, draws him, draws him a map. And they go, they and they go out to drive looking for this place, where they run into Sherry Moon Zombie on the side of the road, and it's like pouring, like it's pouring rain, man. And like she takes, and she takes them back to her family, and her family, uh, her family are basically a group of serial killers that live out in this house that had kidnapped like five cheerleaders. And at the end of the movie, uh, they take they take the survivors and throw them down the, this like well into like basically this like ruins and shit where you have these like homeless people and fucking can't like fucking like you know zombie looking motherfuckers and there's like a and you also get you get you get to see Doctor Satan and uh, this like Hellraiser looking fucking monster man. Oh, it, it's fucking... I love the fucking finale of this film. Because, like... Uh, but, like... I didn't know... Apparently, Dr. Satan is in the film. I didn't know... I forgot that Dr. Satan was in the film. Because, like, first time around when I watched it... I didn't, I didn't see him. And it's because they changed his look. He actually looks like they they got Bill Mosley and like, makeup, right? Who Bill Mosley is also great in this film. Like... These serial killers, they have, like, a lot of personality. And Sherry Moon Zombie, this is, like, the only fucking film, uh, unfortunately, where she looks fuckable. <laughs> like, after this movie, after this film, she hit the wall really fucking hard, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you also have your great, you have great music by Rob Zombie. His House of a Thousand Corpses song, which you can listen on YouTube, sounds fucking amazing. It's great in this film. Right, and there's also like um, the grandpa was great, which I I totally fucked that was M Emmett Walsh from uh, Blade Runner. Uh, turns out yeah, it's a different a different guy, man. I, I I had no idea. Yeah. So there's also um, if you're not a fan of like body horror and like torture porn, there's some of that in that in this film, but it goes by pretty quickly, right? It it does. Uh, it just it the the movie just turns into a slasher film at the end, right? So and where you you have one of our one of our survive su survivors, the final girl, which I kind of like how they 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 make you think the movie's going to be a final girl film, and then she gets killed at the end, <laughs> or does she? I don't know. <laughs> so man, I I love this film, man. You had great cinematography, great characters, great music. Well, also, it takes place on ho Halloween, right? Like, so if you're a Halloween, like, you know, horror movie fan, and you love watching horror movies that take place around Halloween, this is a great one to watch, right? So I, I totally recommend this. I'm giving it, like, yeah, 7 out of 10. It's great, great, great like directorial debut by uh, Rob Zombie. So we're gonna also watch the 
uh, Devil's Rejects, which I wasn't a huge fan of that film. No, there some things of, about that movie I like. And we're, we're going to watch Free From Hell, which I never watched and I heard it sucked. But, you know, we're going to give it a try. All right, guys, that's it for this movie review.